Hello. So today um, I'm going to show you how to make a calendar. Um, I'm going to have us transfer information from a calendar uh, into a calendar we're making. So um, the calendar we're working on today is the hours of sunlight. Um, after the winter solstice, we're getting more and more sunlight every day, which is very exciting. And so um, I found this great website that can show us exactly where we live in Boston and the month of January 2019. Um, and it will, it's going to make a calendar for us. I, the only additional information I want is day length. That is going to make things a lot simpler for us. Time style, AM, PM, and we want our week to start on Sunday and make a calendar. Here's our calendar. We can see on the first of the year, sunrise 713, sunset 421. The length of the day is nine hours and eight minutes. Today, or if you're watching this today, which is that I'm making it, is Monday the 7th. Sunrise is at the same time, but sunset is at 427. That's a pretty easy equation because we know that it is <clears throat> six minutes longer. So here we have it, nine hours and 14 minutes. So we're going to toggle back to our classroom and we're going to open the calendar that we're going to make for our work. First, you're going to come to the sheet so that we're using Google Sheets for this. We're going to come to the sheet for 2019. You can see the whole year in the calendar here. We want to focus on January 9th, uh, January 2019. So we'll click on January 2019. And here is our January calendar. Starting on the correct day, ending on the correct day, and now we need to add our information. So come back to the information we want. I highlight just what we want. I press Control C. I toggle back. And I click in, whoops, not the second, but the first. Now, when I have a cursor in the box, I'm going to press Control V. And there I have my information. If I don't have a cursor in the box, this is what happens. So I'm going to the second. Control C and I click back to the day. I don't have my cursor. Now this is what happens and honestly I can't tell you as to why this happens. It just does. <laughs> um, but it goes, it trips down into the next day, it erases things, all this kind of stuff. I'm going to my undo button and it's all fixed. I'm going to click back. Here's my cursor. Control V and we're all set. So now I come back to um, Thursday the 3rd, Control C. Make sure my cursor's there. Double click on that little box. Control V. It's all right there. Um, <clears throat> let's go through Saturday for right now. Control C, toggle back, cursor, Control V. Last one, Saturday for, for right now. Control C. Control, I'm on, on the fifth, whoops, didn't have my cursor, Control V. Now I have had students do this. They're like, oh, this is taking so long, blah, blah, blah. And they do this. They highlight everything. Control C, go back, put their cursor there, and Control V. That's not right. <laughs> so I'm going to back that up, undo, press my undo button again. Hmm. Control Z, oh, Control Z worked. Now, let's see what happens. 
if I do this. I hide, I click on the um, sixth, the day of the sixth, and then I'm gonna press shift, and I'm gonna click on the 31st. Now I'm gonna press control V. Hmm. Well, what do you think I should do? Should I come in and just delete? I could, I can go back and delete every date. That would make this faster. Oops. So, now, what I don't, the whole point of a calendar is to make life easier. Now, that is one way of doing it, but now my dates are kind of messed up and things are not looking quite right. So, and I can't even fix, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to fix it. Shift, and I'm highlighting this whole section. Um, and let's say this means the writing's gonna go to the top this means that the writing is going to go in the middle, and that means it's going to be at the bottom. Let's say I want everything the same. It's still not exactly the same. So the highlighting um, is helpful, and the highlighting of all of it is kind of quicker, but it defeats the purpose of making the calendar easy to read. Um, so what I would like you to do is continue to copy and paste and finish the calendar. If you finish the calendar, the next thing I would like you to do is look at the times. Nine hours, eight minutes, nine hours, nine minutes, nine hours, 10, nine hours, 11, nine hours, 11. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go to my fill bucket and I can choose um, any color. Let's say I'm going to start on green and then it's one minute lighter. So I had chosen that green. I'm going one minute lighter. This is one minute lighter and this is one minute lighter. Is that right? Yep. But this is the same. So I'm not going to uh, go make it a lighter color here. Um, when we start with the next row, we start with a new color um, because we're constantly increasing our daylight. So I might start with that blue and then go lighter from there. So good luck with this. I'm excited to see your work and um, we'll see you soon. Thanks.